My name is Hans Helge. You probably might know me from organizing WordCamp Berlin or something like that. <laughs> I want to do some. <laughs> um, I do a quick lightning talk, so if you blink, you miss it. So be quiet and cautious. <laughs> Think before you code. I, I developed a plugin recently, a few weeks ago, and I started without thinking and I did a mistake. So I want to encourage you to think before you code as, as developers because you might save some developing time if you exploit other people's code. What do I mean? Let me give an example I used to work on. This is a website that is still running. This is a Hochschule SMD Berlin. This is a site where um, New people are coming to Berlin, they're uh, looking for a flat or for a uh, place to stay and they can um, like WG gesucht, they can enter an offering or um, they can also enter a search. So if you have a free room in Berlin, you can check the website and offer new sites. I redesigned the website, um, we moved to WordPress and we wanted to merge this new this Zimmer Börse or the Flat Finder into the new website. So I simply created a new plugin. This is like a guest board, so nothing fancy here. And I said to myself, okay, that's easy. I think I do a custom post type and I do a form and wait a minute. Why should I do a form? We are using Caldera forms. Uh, if you're familiar with that, it's a famous uh, form plugin on WordPress for WordPress and so I, I said to myself why should I program a form if that plugin is installed and I can exploit actually the nice responsive form uh, builder from that um, from that plugin and so I rethinked my plugin I started um, digging around and I found out that I can easily exploit uh, via an API the um, the functionality of that plugin. So my solution is now I just do some CSS for designing the output and I create the form with a plugin. So in the end it looks something like that. This is a nice form given created with Caldera forms and you can enter your name for example Matt Mullenweg. This is like his email address. Um, he is offering a nice flat and he says, hey folks, I'm offering a nice room for another WordPress fellow. I love WordPress. Long hacking nights with beautiful sunsets and nerd jokes. If you're interested, please contact me. Cheers, Matt. And I didn't do anything of that. This is just a form you used to know. And the only thing I actually did is in the code these few simple lines. This is a just a helper function I wrote. I require the um, admin class from Caldera forms. Um, I use the static function, in this case get entries. I uh, enter my form ID. I get all the, uh, all the data back, return it, and I do just the output. So in the end, it looks something like this. You see, I entered a, a search, so I'm looking for a flat and Matt is offering a flat and new people can use the form and in the end everything is fine. So I actually saved a lot of time in developing because I didn't have to do much. And that is what I encourage you, think before you code. Maybe you can save hours in your developing time because you are actually using plugins on your client projects which you can exploit. And one thing it was really funny and I used uh, to digging around, I found another bug in Caldera forms. So in the end I submitted an um, issue on GitHub to Caldera forms and they were happy and said, hey, good find out, Charlotte. Nice, we fixed it in the new release. And you're famous. <laughs> that is everything I wanted to say. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so, so no questions? Probably you don't want we to think. <laughs>
Yeah. Um, would you use that only for client work, or what about, <coughs> let's say you develop a plugin, you want to sell or put on WordPress.org or whatever, Can and, you then, yeah, yeah. and then um, the, your plugin would need some kind of dependency. Okay, uh, for video, the question was, um, uh, can I only do this with client projects, or can I do this with other plugins as well? And so, um, I don't recommend it doing other plugins. I would say do it only exploiting other plugins, exploiting them. Only do it with client projects when you're sure you're using that plugin and you can you uh, you know for sure that it is activated. <laughs> because uh, other hands. You cannot submit a plugin or a theme on the WordPress repository, which is um, requiring another or dependent on another plugin. This is not allowed, and I wouldn't recommend this either, um, to because it's a um, it is more difficult for the user in the end. Yeah, uh, you have definitely the option to check if the other plugin is present, and uh, at least for themes, uh, there is an option to. Uh, Add uh, required uh, plugins. I'm not totally sure about the function name, but there's definitely the option to have uh, required uh, plugins, uh, which it's uh, kind of, kind of. Um, yes. Uh, so he was Christopher was mentioning that you can actually require plugins, or you can check if plugins are activated. Yes, you can do that, but. Um, if you if you're a theme developer and you require plugins, these plugins may not be um, or must not be um, required for the theme functionality. So if a theme only works with that plugin activated, it will not be listed on WordPress.org. So it's an optional recommended plugin activation. Of course, you can check if a plugin is activated. So I programmed in this case the uh, module. The Caldera module, so it will um, load the, the load only the Caldera form if it's activated. And if I'm if I want to, I can also uh, develop another um, another uh, module for other form plugins. So if a user is using another form, I can exploit that. And if no form plugin is activated, I have a fallback for my custom post type. I can do that, of course. But I you can do that, but I would recommend always a fallback. So if a user is not using any of these plugins, it's, uh, your plugin will not work, and this is not good. Another uh, suggestion or uh, addition uh, that uh, technique is definitely working as well with gravity forms. Are you using gravity forms as an API as well? Okay, he was also mentioning that um, gravity forms is also offering an API, so I could do that. Um, yes, of course, but in, in my example, Caldera Forms was activated, so I didn't look at gravity forms. But it's good to know. No more questions? Yeah. And thank you again.